What's good, y'all? Back again. Another day. I can't use the hand because I'm holding the mirror and I'm recording on the phone. But we in here. We are on our way to the little Panthers joint, man. This is just fan fest. You can just you could call it fan fest. You don't have to do all that. Fan fest. Fan fest. I'm not really a fan, but I'm supporting my wife. Dramatic. Like, nah, I just got to make it known, man. So. I didn't put a mirror in no blue. A mirror don't have on no. A mirror doesn't have Panther skin. Right. But yeah, we out here about to head into the stadium and whatnot. We actually running late. But there you go. We heading in there. So once we get inside, I'm gonna holla at y'all. What's good, y'all? Nah, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't even gonna do it. So, um, Tommy and Amir didn't get to the crib yet. I got here a little early because for some reason the alarm in the crib was going off. And this is solid, and the alarm would go straight to the phone. It was going off, and I was looking at the um, lock, and it looked like somebody was, you know, trying to get in the house. So, I did what the man is supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? I came home to check everything out, make sure we're straight before they got here. And what it looks like is the rental company dropped off some um, knobs that were missing when the last people left. So they dropped those off, but you know, I was in here, you know what I'm saying? Opening every door, checking every drawer. You would have thought it was an episode of, um, I probably won't say his name, but trapped in the closet, you know what I'm saying? Just looking at everything. Um, Waiting for them to get here though, because I just got a TV from um, Best Buy for like $80. If you don't have it, you definitely might want to check out the Soul Retriever app. Um, they give you information on sneakers when they're dropping, like um, shock drops and all that good stuff you find out the day before. And you know, especially since I'm not on social media right now, I still know what's coming out and when it's coming out. But not only do they do um, sneakers and stuff like that, they do tech deals and all that. I'm really into tech stuff as well. So they um, announced that Best Buy was doing $80 43 inch TVs. So your boy went on ahead and snatched one of those up. So I'm waiting for Tommy to bring the truck so I can go and grab that. But um, while I'm here by myself, let's have a chat guys. Let's have a chat, man. So. I've been thinking about the direction of the channel and where I want to go and what I want to focus on because I know as I keep mentioning right now I ain't really looking to do unboxings because I'm trying to stack and save and you know just make sure all the affairs are in order with everything that we have going on. I'm still going to do unboxings but I'm not going to do it as much. So in the meantime I was thinking you know who is my target audience? Who is my target audience? Who am I trying to reach out to? And I thought about it and it hit me, you know what I'm saying? My target audience is millennial black fathers. You know what I'm saying? So moving forward, a lot of the content is gonna be more so geared towards my target audience of millennial black fathers who are, you know, like me. You know, you're just trying to do the right thing, take care of your family, be present in your kids' life to the best of your ability. Um, and just go through this life thing, man. So I'm really looking forward to the change in tone and the shift in energy and making sure that I speak to my people, people that look like me that are going through very similar situations. So that is very exciting. Um, I finally figured out who my audience is. I did a lot of research on the back end, looking at who watches my videos. And like I was telling you, I know my views are going down but people are watching longer. And so I wanna focus more so on that, the people that are coming and they're staying. Because before I was running it up, and by running it up, I mean modestly, I was getting like 150, 140 views. But people would only stay for like the first minute or they'll click through the video just to see what they wanted to see and move on. And that's cool, you know, I played that game, but I felt like I was wagging my tail chasing my tail rather and then you know the unboxing thing i already told you about that so we're just not going to rehash that point but 
I really, really, really want to speak to my millennial black fathers. I feel like it's an underserved audience. I feel like we're out here and there's not too many of us out here that are speaking and showing the day to day or talking about what's going on with the news and how that affects us. So I really feel like that is where I want to be. And I really haven't had time to sit down and get to the bro talks, but you know, the bro talks kind of hits on that too, but that's more so just a millennial black male. But specifically, just like me, I'm a millennial black father and I want to speak to other millennial black fathers. You look at the content, it's mostly vlogs and it's just me with the family. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have friends, I have associates, I have people that I rock with. But for the most part, man, my life consists of working, getting my credentials together, you know, gaming here and there, and spending time with my family, man, more than anything, you know, just making sure that they have what they need and being present and making sure that I'm there for whatever they need in order to be the best that they can possibly be. So I'm really excited about that. I just can't say that enough. Um, yeah, I'm gonna holler at y'all when we get this TV. I cannot wait to have a TV in the crib because right now at my office, I just got that little TV right there, and I'm probably going to keep it. No, we haven't gotten the TV mounted yet, um, which thank goodness we didn't because now we got another one coming through. So I'm going to hook that up, and <clears throat> we're going to go live real soon. I don't know when, but I got the setup and everything, so we're going to do a live. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that little bell so you can tell. I'm going to holler at y'all in a second. We got a lot in store. I can't wait to unbox this TV. So stay tuned, y'all. What up, y'all? What's good? What's good? What's good? So yeah, we up this morning. It's a Saturday. Yeah, I'm dating it. It's a Saturday. But no, I ain't about to buy a drink or nothing like that. I ain't dating it like that. But it's a Saturday. And what I'm about to do right now is make the fam a little breakfast. Oh, look at Big Belly right here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, somebody is not in a good mood. I don't think you like what I call him. Anyway, we about to make some breakfast real quick for the fam. So once I make this breakfast, then you know what I'm saying, we gonna eat the breakfast, and then we gonna figure out what we do the rest of the day. So let me go ahead on to get started on that, and I will holler at y'all shortly. So 
I just finished making everybody breakfast. That's done. Good. Somebody's happy now. He got some food. So I'm about to eat y'all. Remember I said I wasn't going anywhere and doing anything today? So much for that. We got stuff to do. So we gonna be knocking that out. What we got to do? You was the one saying, oh, we gotta go to Target. We gotta go to Ikea. We gotta go ba 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 yeah, so how at y'all in a minute about to eat this food, get ready to make it. All right, y'all, so operation, stay in the house, don't go nowhere, don't spend no money, it's already a bus, because as you can see, I'm in the truck, and we about to go to Target. So, yeah. That don't mean we gonna spend money. So, why are we going to Target then? I mean, we need to get something, but So, if we need to get something, what we need to do? But automatically, that don't mean you're gonna spend money. Hmm. Let's see how this goes, guys. Apparently, even though we're leaving the house, going to Target to buy something, I don't have to spend money. You so let's see how that has to money. I might spend money, but that don't mean you're going to spend money. Let's see how this plays out, guys. I, I already know how it's going to play out, but let's see. I'm going to keep y'all posted. How it goes. No. It looks like Justin Timberlake. Neo. <laughs> as long as I got my suit and tie. <laughs> Let me show you how to do that. Let me show you how to do that. Show you how to do that. Your head gonna be significantly smaller once you get um Yeah, cool, man. He actually liked this one. <laughs> Cause it's kinda like your head. Yeah. Or maybe a color of her own. I think it would be so cute though. We just left Target. Amir was starting to crash a little bit. So it was time to go. Now, I have to feed everyone. So, y'all wanna share a pizza at Blaze? I don't really care what we Oh, y'all just wanna go home and make sandwiches? I am 100% okay with going home and making sandwiches. But the question is, are you gonna make it home? You have an No, you're not done. So then, no. All right, y'all, we gotta put this stuff up. I'm gonna holler at y'all. What's up, y'all? So I'm in the office chilling right now, just unwinding. Got a mirror right here. He has to be confined, otherwise he's just gonna run all over the place and make a mess. So I put all of his toys and stuff in there. Gave him some water with milk, but it looks like he's still thirsty. And right now, I'm playing Marvel um, Midnight Suns. So, we just in here chilling, man. I know Norm is going live at one, so I'm gonna probably catch him. Make sure you check out Norman Nation. Um, I've shared it on my community, but I did a live stream with him last night and we just chopped it up for a minute. We got some big things in store, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But right now, man, I'm just chilling, trying to unwind. Probably do a little bit of studying later. Um, I don't know. We're gonna see how it plays out. But right now, I'm just kicking it. Me and I'm here. Yeah, he said I, so yeah. 
Are those my Aqua Eights back there? They are. They look so pretty, man. I got so many pairs of Aqua Eights that I just sit on. So yeah, I'm gonna check in with y'all shortly. Just met up with Koi. Koi, 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 Koi. My oldest, my firstborn. Did not get it on camera though. I'm sorry. We went to the park, man. Amir's back there. He was swinging. And we had a really good time. I um, was really happy to see Koi, man. That is my, that's my guy right there, man. I love my firstborn. I love all my kids, obviously. But, you know, Koi. It's Koi, man. He's been with me for the past eight years of my life, man. <laughs> what can I say? I love, dang, I wish I brought his candy, man. I had some Mr. Beast chocolate for him. He'll get it on the next trip, cause. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what we did. I knocked out a bunch of my Intranachi exams, so I'm almost done with getting my home inspector's license. Um, I just have to take my Intranachi exam, I have to get my 80 hours, and then I have to complete my North Carolina classes, which is about 10 more um, classes. Then I have to take my North Carolina exam, and then your boy will officially be a licensed home inspector in North Carolina and South Carolina. So, super stoked about that. Everything's coming together, moving in motion. Um, not as fast as I like it to, of course, but I mean, it is what it is. It's better, you know, just gotta keep elevating and staying patient, man, and that's that's definitely something that I wrestle and grapple with very, very, very frequently. So, you know, just trying to stay patient and do what I gotta do so I can pass this exam and get my license. Once I get my license and we're rolling into getting started with that, man, so just super excited. Um, I know after this, we're headed back to the crib because one of Tommy's friends, Omore, one of her closest friends, is moving to Atlanta. Going to the A, you know how it is, going to Black Hollywood to start over. So um, she invited both of us, but I'll probably just have Tommy go by herself, keep him here, and we just gonna kick it at the house. Um, so if we do, or we might go, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Either way, whatever we do, I'm definitely taking y'all with me. So make sure y'all stay tuned and I will holla at you. What up y'all? It is Monday and I know, I know, I know. I usually end these videos on Sunday, but when I tell you I didn't do anything yesterday, I mean, I didn't do anything yesterday. Well, I did play Marvel, um, Midnight Suns and you know, I probably could have let you guys watch me or I could have did a stream, but you know, I just really wanted to just have some time to just sit in the house and really just be in the house. So I played Midnight Suns and Amir chilled in the room with me and Amir slept like most of the day. Like he really did get a lot of sleep yesterday. So he's definitely well rested. Um, he has a doctor's appointment today. So I'm gonna take him let him get a little bit of time in with his friends. Then I'm gonna pick him up. We're gonna go to the doctors. And then I'm gonna take him back. And the reason that I'm letting him chill is because I need to grab some groceries. There's little things around the house that I need to pick up. So I'm gonna let him chill and I'm gonna grab that stuff and then go to the doctor and then come back. So we got a real interesting day hanging out at the doctor's office. We have a black doctor, Dr. Freeman. He's amazing. He's been with the mirror since the day he could leave the hospital. So super excited about that. Um, you know, we ask our general questions, make sure everything's all good, and, you know, whoop de whoop. So I'm gonna check in with y'all shortly. Just gotta get this little errand straight and let y'all know how the doctor's visit went and all that good stuff. So I'll let you see. 
We back, we back, we back. Took a mirror to the doctor, got everything straight with him. He got his checkups and whatnot. So he's good. I'm about to get some food because I haven't eaten since my wife made breakfast this morning. Shout out to her. Um, I think I'm gonna try Dave's hot chicken because I've never had it before. So I wanna see what it's like. I'm very, very, very skeptical about eating meat. As y'all know, I did take a little hiatus from the poultry and the beef and the whole nine. And then we watched a documentary about food. And then I read a book about food. So it was like, uh, but you know, I'm gonna try Dave's hot chicken, see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna let y'all know what I think. All right, we back, y'all. So nothing fancy, you know what I'm saying? It kind of is what it is. I just really want to taste it. Y'all don't get the whole presentation and all that. Unfortunately, the boy is just hungry. So I grabbed what I grabbed. I went with the mild. Um, now I got some fries. So without further ado, let's get into it. So once again, this is the mild. And just looking at the texture of it, they seasoned the mess out of this baby. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll see how my body reacts to this. I don't know, just looking at it, I can feel the heartburn. And that's the thing, man. When you get in your 30s, bro, you get heartburn. <laughs> like, dog, I'm 30 complaining about heartburn. Like, I'm gonna have to take some tums or something after I eat this. But, you know, that's just looking at it. I haven't tasted it yet, so. Oh, dropped in a little cold star, okay. So they put coleslaw and stuff in it. Um, we got pickles, we got their sauce, and then the seasoning. I don't know if y'all can see all that, bam. So yeah, let's get it. So it's hot, which lets me know, not hot as in spicy, but hot as in hot, which means that they cooked it to temperature, which is good. Um, the taste is very strong. Yes, I probably am gonna get heartburn, like I said. Um, it kind of reminds me of when KFC was doing their, was it Nashville hot chicken? The way that it was sauced and breaded and all that stuff, the seasoning. That's definitely the vibe that it's giving me. It's fully, fully, fully seasoned, for sure. And I feel it like right in the back of my sinus, so. But it's good. The bread is soft, it's toasted. I can tell they cooked the bread separately. Well, not cooked it, but they toasted the bread. So, yeah, we'll take another bite. Yeah, like I said, it really reminds me of when KFC was doing the Nashville hot joint. Maybe this is why they did the Nashville hot, I don't know. But it's very greasy, very seasoned. I definitely feel the heartburn coming on as we speak. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna have to grab some Tums. But it's cool. You know, you know what you're getting into when you get this, like. If you had anything similar, then you know what to expect. So it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I would eat this again simply because I know the heartburn's coming. Like I feel it gradually rising. So it's not for me, but it's not bad, you know what I'm saying? Like something could be good and it's just not for you. I, the seasoning is just sitting in the back of my sinus. But it's cool, it's cool. It's just not for me. <laughs> and I guess that's just the older thing, you know, I don't know, but yeah. So anyways, got some more stuff to do. I think we're gonna go ahead on the land to play here. Make sure you check out the last one. Make sure you check out the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, share so we can get it across the air. And I'll holla at you soon. Deuce.
ugly outside. I'm at the crib. Amir's eating. He really loves being on camera. Like, I don't tell him to do that, he just does that on his own. <laughs> <laughs> 